how to get approved for a bigger mortgage because 2022 is presenting some serious problems for fixed rate mortgage applicants, primarily that they're now having to qualify at almost 7.25%. This is thanks to the stress test and the rule that states that you either have to qualify at the stress test rate, which is 5.25%, or at the contract rate plus 2%, whichever is higher, which means that fixed rate borrowers are now at a significant disadvantage when they're qualifying for their mortgage to the tune of about 10 to 15% over variable rate mortgage holders, which just seems categorically unfair, but I'm going to show you in this video how to get around that. But make sure that you watch to the very end of this video because there are some significant landmines and surprises that you could find if you do this wrong and you choose the wrong lender. Hint, hint, we're not going to recommend you choose your bank for this one. The definitive guide on how to manage your credit, product, penalty, price in that order. It's never been more important to get your mortgage right. Okay, so welcome back. Today we're discussing how to qualify for a bigger mortgage in 2022. The reason why? Because the fixed rate mortgage qualifying rate is kicking the butts of fixed rate mortgage holders. However, if you're looking to get a fixed rate mortgage, there is an opportunity for you to borrow at a higher amount if you are strategic about how you do it. And yes, we're gonna use a variable rate strategy in order to get you there. But before we get into the details, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video. And don't forget, if you're looking at getting into the mortgage market and you wanna get the absolute best rate possible, you can get our Secrets to Getting the Lowest Interest Rate course for a super low price right now that will get you at least 10 to 50 times your money back. Basically, you put in $100, you're gonna get at least 1000 to $5,000 back just just for having the knowledge that's available in that course, you can get it at ratesecrets.ca, but only for a limited time. Okay, so let's jump into it. This is going to be a really interesting video with respect to how to qualify for a bigger mortgage. Now here's the problem, right? So the stress test. This is the rule that makes it so that you have to qualify at one of two interest rates when you're qualifying for a mortgage, either 5.25%, which is the qualifying rate, or the contract rate plus 2%. Now the contract rate is the rate that you are paying. So right now, if you're looking at fixed rate mortgages as of this filming, that could go up, it could go down from here, but basically you would have to qualify for a fixed rate mortgage at 5.25% plus 2%, so 7.25%. Now, unfortunately, the downside of that stress test is it creates a severe amount of inequity for people who wanna shop for fixed rate mortgages, which many people believe to be more secure than their variable rate counterparts. Now, we've done other videos on why this isn't necessarily the case in the past. I'll link to one of them up here, but the gist of it is this, is if you're looking for a secure fixed rate mortgage right now because you're afraid interest rates are gonna go up, you're gonna have to buy a smaller house because you qualify for less mortgage to the tune of about 10 to 15%. But there is a way to get around this if you're getting a brand new mortgage. And the way to do that is to strategically use a variable rate and then lock in after you take possession of the house and you've had that mortgage funded. Now, there are some caveats to this. First and foremost, you do risk if you're doing this strategy, basically taking a variable rate up front and then locking into it right after you take possession. You do risk interest rates going up in the amount of time between when you write the offer and when you go to lock in. If you go to lock in with a big bank, chances are you're gonna have to lock in at a significantly higher interest rate than many of the monoline or what we call A plus lenders provide. And you're also going to expose yourself to payout penalty risk if you lock in with a big bank. You're gonna expose yourself to that risk at a monoline or a non-bank lender as well, but not to the same extent. So there's a few things you need to make sure you're doing when you do this strategy. First and foremost, you have to be aware that fixed rates could go up between now and when you actually lock in. The second thing is you have to be aware that you need to pick the right lender right out of the gate to make sure that they have a lock-in rate that is competitive to the best rates in the industry. So that's gonna be lenders like MCAP, First national, CMLS, RMG, but you're going to want to work with your broker to make sure that you know exactly what the lock-in rates are at that moment and that you're going to be able to get a really good rate on that fixed rate mortgage if you do go about using this strategy. So here's the strategy. You start by qualifying for a variable rate mortgage and then you lock in after you take possession. Now I'm going to show you this via the My Mortgage Toolbox app, which you can get at the link in the description below. It's totally free. It's something I provide to my viewers. Go ahead, click on that app, and when you get to that app, you're gonna scroll down and you're going to find a section called the stress test. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click into that and to illustrate how effective this strategy could be, basically we're gonna go in and we're gonna take a look at what you would qualify for if you had a 5.25% five-year fixed. Now you can see up on the top right here that the stress test rate is 7.25%, that's right there. 
And that is because we're using the contract rate plus 2%. We have to, we have no other options. And what you can see is that qualifies you based on $100,000 in gross annual income for a $360,000 mortgage. Now, because we wanna qualify for more, what we're going to do is we're going to get a variable rate mortgage to start. And because of that, we get to use a significantly lower interest rate. Now, I'm gonna assume that by the time you see this, that interest rates are gonna go up by about 75 basis points. So we're gonna be looking at interest rates on a variable of about 3.55%. So I'm going to use that right there. And as you can see, the stress test rate up at the top right is now 5.55%, significantly lower. And you can see that the amount that you qualify for now has gone up to $420,000. By the way, for those of you who have questioned the 1%, 10% rule, well, guess what? That 1.5% increase in interest rates ended up being about a 15% increase in your buying power. So what you would do is you would get your variable rate mortgage with a really good lender like First National or like MCAP through a really good broker like Mortgage 360, our company. And then once you take possession of the property in 30 or 60 days, you would go to the lender or you would go through your broker and you would say, I would like to lock in now to a five-year fixed. Then hopefully interest rates will have not gone up on those five-year fixed rates. You'll get to lock in at that five 0.25%, but you'll be able to have purchased the property that you wanted to buy because you were able to get approved for a larger mortgage amount. Now, this is a really simple strategy. Again, there's a couple of little things that could go wrong on it. So you're going to want to make sure that you get really good advice from a company like ours or another mortgage brokerage. That being said, not everyone's going to know the ins and outs of how to do this properly. And I can't express enough do not do this with your big bank because the lock-in rates at the big banks are going to be significantly higher than what they would be at a First National or an MCAP or the other A-plus lenders that are available in the industry. And let's call a spade a spade. These lenders have to be better than the big banks. They have to have better mortgages because if they didn't, would anybody actually get their mortgage from a lender that they've never really heard the name of? No, it's because the products are better. And the two things that make them significantly better for this strategy are the fact that their lock-in rate is going to be lower and you're going to have lower penalties in the event that you lock into that five-year fix because here's what's likely going to happen. You're going to lock into that five-year fixed. Interest rates are eventually going to go down at some point and there's going to be opportunities in the future for you to get a lower interest rate. But in order to do that, you need to make sure that you've got a five-year fix with a low penalty. When I look back early in the pandemic, March of 2020, there was a whole bunch of people who had really high fixed interest rates that wanted to get into lower fixed rates in that one and a half, two percent range. The biggest problem that people faced when they did this was if they had a big bank mortgage, they had a massive penalty and they had no options. But for the people who had mortgages at First National, MCAP, Merrick's Financial, all the lenders that aren't household names, we were able to get them and switch them to lower rate products because they had lower penalties. So this is going to be really, really important with this strategy. Again, non-bank lenders, make sure that they have low lock-in rates and low penalties so that when you do lock in, if interest rates go down, you've got the opportunity to save some money. So that's how you qualify for a bigger mortgage in Canada right now. If you found this video useful, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video and we'll see you on the very next one.